Chlor Marin, a swamp fortress, a jewel of the bitter coast, stands tall and mighty, as it did thousands of years ago. It is one of the ancient elven strongholds that dot Morrowind, nested in the salty marshes due west of Balmora. Hailing from a more glorious days, these Cyclopean fortifications now largely remain forgotten by the civilized city dwellers. Their massive weathered stone walls, however, up to this day provide shelter to anyone strong enough to own it. It is true that these strongholds are often fought over by various renegade groups. Bandits, smugglers, slavers, covens, necromancers, you name it. Competition has never been higher. It is ironic then that these ancient relics of a high civilization are now realms of pure barbarism and its only rule, rule by might. So is Chlormarin currently occupied by a powerful ring of smugglers and slavers, led by a dark elven battle mage, Brilnosu Laris. But at any point in game, player is free to clear it out, forcing its cold stone chambers back into deep silence. Silence because there is nothing happening afterwards. Chlor Marin remains abandoned. And to me, that always felt like a wasted opportunity for something greater, with all that space available to a player. It's often one of the main goals of my playthroughs to claim Chlor Marin as my home, a personal stronghold and due to its sheer size and number of rooms, decorating and turning its rather generic interiors into something more stylized takes quite a time. And then, I wanted to take this idea even further. I had an idea of turning Hlormarin into a faction home, and it's this exact moment when I realized that I wanted to make a mod. So today I will talk about the idea behind my never realized Hlormarin mod, what were my plans with the stronghold, how I decorate parts of it and I will also share a personal story regarding an existing mod, Hlormarin Reclaimed, which was inspired by my idea but never completed. My name is Alec and welcome to another Morrowind video. Lormarin lies almost exactly halfway between Hla Od and Gnarmok, in the heart of the lush and humid bitter coast. Due to its proximity to Balmora, it was the first Dunmer stronghold that I encountered in the game, and it certainly left a huge impression on me. My ex-wielding Nor Barbarian ran around looking for mushrooms and exploring the completely new region, when this massive stone fortification suddenly appeared out of the mist in front of me. I naturally had no idea what it was, but I walked straight towards it, drawn by some invisible force. The massive ceremonial stairways, large platform, mysterious domes, it all looked so exotic within this rainy jungle. I felt like an explorer discovering some lost temple ruin. And what I'm trying to say is that Hlor Marin, ever since that day, remained one of my favorite places. It's fun to explore and offers a healthy amount of challenge because of a large number of well-armed enemies, ranging from Nord and Orsimer brutes to Dunmer rogues, not to mention the amount of loot and a number of slaves waiting to be set free. Hlor Marin boss, Brilon Sularis, is a step above your usual dungeon boss, carrying rare ebony armor set pieces and unique enchanted weapon. So, like I said, it's a very fun run, but once we clear the stronghold, after all the adrenaline-inducing action, sneaking, attacking, looting, there is nothing left, nothing else to do. Some players with enough patience could claim it for themselves and use it as a storage, but that's all there is to it. It always bugged me that we are to leave this beautifully structured multi-stored fortress all alone in the middle of the marsh. I wanted to find some use for Chlormarin, a purpose. And then it suddenly dawned on me. What about turning Hlormarin into a headquarter for the Imperial Knights? For those who don't know, Imperial Knights are an unused faction present in the construction set and mentioned in the book Rats Wedding Dowry. From little that we know, they are supposed to represent the higher ranking members within the Legion, sort of a militaristic aristocracy, but were for some reason cut from the game, at least as a separate faction. 
But with me being a fan of the Legion quest line and Imperial factions, I always wanted more of them. So I started working on a mod. However, the problem was that I never really learned to use construction set properly. I could decorate places, but I never got the scripting part properly. Moving forward a few years, in 2015, I was somewhat active on Morrowind's subreddit page. I rarely go these days, but I remember it being fun. We used to exchange ideas and just have fun in general, discussing pretty much anything related to the game. The idea of Hlormarin mod was still lurking in the back of my head, so I decided to write down to the public, since I knew I'll never make a mod out of it. The basic premise is that Imperial Knights are looking for a base of operations on Wardenfell. They choose Hlormarin because it's well fortified, offers plenty of room and is away from the eyes of the great houses, being only close to Balmora to the east. However, there is a mountain range separating Balmora from the Bitter Coast region. So, it is located in a friendly region but still remote enough. Adding to that, Hormarin is very close to the inner sea, allowing for discrete transportation to the mainland through their own boat service. Imperial Knights would predominantly serve as a support to the Legion. They would establish a smaller chapter, the point being not drawing too much attention. A small group of experienced Knights would set up a base and that would be the beginning of the questline. Player will be offered a task to clear out the dungeon for a mysterious old man. A task which would, at the same time, serve as a test. If successful, player would be offered an option to join the faction. There could be another prerequisite, such as being at least a ranked knight within the Legion. And quests would offer a range of missions, from clearing out smuggler dens, rescuing hostages, to even spying hostile factions. These missions would simply serve as bonus quests for those who already played through the Imperial Legion questline. As for the Hlormarin interior, I still have two screenshots preserved that showcase some changes I've made. I wish I had more of them, but this particular work is from 2018, so most of the shots are long lost. My idea was to include a special quarter dedicated to each divine. In this shot we see the Balan quarters, and I know how it may sound, but my plan was that it would offer a tavern, perhaps having a bard or a savant. Even knights deserve some entertainment, especially while being so far from home. The large underground area was transformed into a complex of craft shops and armories and was dedicated to Xanitar. Julianus had a library filled with not only books but also scrolls of all kinds. Standar would have a healing temple as well as a shrine in personal quarters at the top level, which was reserved ultimately for a player at the end of the questline. Hlormarin even has a large sewer network which could be used for many things. Additional storage, underground shelters or something like that. There are plenty of rooms, offering a chance of establishing a full working, self-contained interior city with lots of beds, kitchens, training areas, libraries, healing altars, inns for relaxation, with even traveling merchants coming back and forth with fresh supplies. Alright, now let's talk about Hlormarin Reclaimed. It was made in 2015 by an author called Lawrence. He read my post on Morrowind's subreddit and then messaged me, asking if it's okay if he tries to do it. Of course, I agreed and a couple of days later he already had it done. Lawrence was, in his own words, an experienced mod maker with not much free time available. So Hlormarin Reclaimed was left in such state, offering only a starting point and having no questline. It's a fairly unknown mod and very short, so I don't feel like I will be spoiling too much if I talk about it here. But if you plan to play it, I guess, spoilers warning. To begin the Hlormarin Reclaimed quest, we have to meet Karya Damasus, an old, ashamed knight, who can be found standing just outside Hla'od. If we decide to join him by the fire, he will tell us a little story. I went up into the fortress Hlormarin, tasked with ridding that dark place of the murder scum that infested. Mere bandits, they were. In my youth, I could have taken them all with a hand tied behind my back. But now, I am old and weak, and they were too much for me. For the first time in many years, I retreated. I fear I shall never overcome the shame. Could you do an old knight a favor and finish the task? With the task being, of course, clearing out Hlormarin, after which we return to Karius once again. Karius will now share his true identity. Take a seat by the fire and let me explain what's going on. Yes, as you might have guessed, there's more to this than a tired old knight and some bandits. 
It would be appreciated if you could keep this information between us, lest you wish to receive a visit from the Blades. I'm actually on Warnfell on a secret mission to represent the Imperial Knights and to establish a chapter in Hlormarin. If asked about the Imperial Knights, Carius will say the following. We were sent by the Emperor's express command to establish a presence on Wardenfell, somewhere away from the eyes of the temple. Hlormarin suits our mission perfectly. However, if a word got around that a crusading band of knights attacked and claimed an old Dunmer stronghold, we'd receive some unwelcome attention. That's where you came in. Now, let's discuss your award. Now all we have to do is return to Hlormarin and we will notice slight changes. There is a traveling small time merchant by the road, as well as two small banners on the top of the stairway. And the presence of Imperial Guards. Inside the stronghold we can meet several new characters, some of them offering trading services. And Karius himself, now wearing his shiny Knight Templar armor. He will reward us with an old heirloom from his clan. A very special blade, Dragonclaw. Karios is now a retired fighter and will gladly give us his family sword. You, however, have a long road of adventure ahead of you, and many perils will manifest themselves. Take Dragonclaw and let her see battle again. And when you need respite from the long road, do come in and make use of our services. He will also provide more information on the Imperial Knights. We are a branch of the Legion, really. The more experienced and talented of the Legion's officers often find their way into our Brotherhood. Of course, we are all from noble lineage or otherwise have good connection. Yes, it's bureaucratic, but at least it keeps the riffraff out. We don't have much of a presence on Wardenfeld yet, but perhaps that will change at some point in the near future. Whatever the case, I'll be more than able to put in a good word for you should the need arise. And I also want to compliment the writing. In my opinion, it's very well written because it fits the vanilla Morrowind writing style. But with that said, this is all that Hlormarin Reclaim has to offer. It's really only the beginning and sadly it was never completed. I especially love the secrecy and the potential to develop further and grow the existing chapter. I think it would add a very interesting dynamic that is not often seen in Morrowind. A chance to sort of grow stronger, not so much in numbers only but with resources and influence. Imperial Knights also served as escorts as seen in a book Riot's Wedding Dowry. So questline could also include the simple escort this character from point A to point B. And that was my short presentation of my potential never realized dream mod, or however you wanna call it. I hope you guys liked it, thank you for watching and I'll see you again very soon.